from time to time, someone will try to use the argument that given the fact there's so many translations of the Bible, how can we know which one to trust or if any are trustworthy at all? I think I have like 10 different translations up on my shelf. Um, but just a little bit of explanation can actually bring some clarity to this very honest question. For starters, it's, it's important to know translations are not the same as versions. There's not different versions of the Bible. There is different translations, though, that, and they're just that. Translations from the original language into English, in our case. In the original text of the Bible, the Old Testament was written in Hebrew, the New Testament was in Greek and some Aramaic, and the translator's job is to try to take it from its original language and effectively communicate what's going on into a different language. English, in our case. Uh, different translations will target different reading levels, sometimes even different demographics. Some translations provide more literal word-for-word -word renderings aiming to capture the exact wording and structure of the original text. Uh, examples of translations that do this, the ESV version, the New American Standard Bible, take great care to, to translate each word very specifically. Other translations prioritize more dynamic or thought-for-thought -thought renderings, trying to convey the bigger picture meanings in contemporary language. Um, some example translations that fall in this category, the NIV or the New Living Translation. Other translations aim for more scholarly and formal language, and some strive for simplicity and accessibility, particularly for younger readers or non-native English speakers. It's important to note, um, while differences exist, most major Bible translations share a fundamental core and convey the really essentially the same teachings um, all quite effectively. Uh, choosing a translation will sometimes depend on personal preference, reading level, the purpose of the study, um, or the characteristics that are important to the reader. The praxis, we recommend the ESV, we use it primarily, but the NSAB or the NIV, would, we would also highly recommend. But I would avoid maybe using other translations, like the message. Um, it's, it's, it's a paraphrase. It, it could be useful, but wouldn't be a good primary reading Bible. As well as the Passion Translation um, kind of starts to color outside the lines a little. It variates from what the original text says. Take some creative liberties that I think cross over some very important lines. And whereas most Bible translations have large groups of people who weigh in on translations together, scholars in the original language, the Passion Translation was translated by one man. Um, I'll say this, it's not good. I don't think it should be a Bible someone uses, especially when we have such great and accurate translations available to us today. We really, we live in a, an amazing time to read the Bible. I have a whole stack of different Bibles I use, but I'd recommend uh, the ESV or the NSAB or the NIV as your principal Bible. And if you don't own one, I want to say, come on out to Praxis on a Sunday. We have a free one for you. Uh, you can pick up at one of our Sunday gatherings.